Hey everyone, it's Redbeard the Hippie doing an interview with the Coven Sacrifice. Coventry, I can't speak, it's hot. No water whatsoever. So we're going to do some interview questions. Sorry. <laughs> and one guy's watching basketball. Uh, well, seeing how you, you guys have said that you guys have been around forever, how long is forever? 21 years. So you guys can legally drink and smoke the band can. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. It can buy handguns now and everything. Oh, hey, we've been, fuck we been fucking it. Yep. <laughs> shit knows a lot, dude. Any yeah, original yeah. members still? That's true. Yeah. So just different changes, started. different changes throughout time, or people left and people came in, it's and about it. people left and died. <laughs> <laughs> true. Yeah. Our, our last singer passed away in the middle of the forest. It sucks. Never a good thing. Uh, and obviously, since you guys have been around for 21 years, obviously there's band and family life. How do you guys balance the whole thing of doing shows and... It's... You just do, you just do it, you know? <laughs> yeah, I'd say three out of five don't even Four, have yeah, so Those of us with families at home, yeah. I mean, the families know that this is our shit, so, you know. So everybody's kind of on the same page. They don't... But they let you know in advance that hey, we got this important thing going on. Don't schedule anything. That's right. Don't forget your anniversary. Don't schedule a date. Why not? It's, well, not, it's not good. It's not good. And they get a little pissy. <laughs> oh, with you guys being around, you guys have probably done quite a few shows and been in quite a few different venues. What was the favorite one to play at? Venue. I can say that my favorite show is uh, when we had gotten uh, to open up for Carcass in Tulsa. Yeah, I mean, my, my boyhood idols, you know, so oh, it, yeah, it, it, it like, could have been at any <laughs> The band where you're like, that was That was the fly trap in Tulsa. I don't know if it's still there, but it's it was pretty awesome. Yeah. So one of those uh, bucket list bands that you got to... Oh, yeah. Any other bands that are on the bucket list for oh, you yeah. guys? You We've played with a lot. Oh, <laughs> Cattle Decapitation, Goat Horror, uh, Obituary, Death Angel, uh, Dying Fetus, Goat Horror. So Blast, you, you guys or, have like the legendary groups that everybody have been around. Play with Lamb of God. Yeah. <laughs> In flames. Hey, baby, him again. Oh, okay. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can continue with that. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's, that's a pretty. But yeah, yeah th favorite video of uh, Cesspool. Yes. Cesspool. That's our base. That's the whole house. That's house ever. ever. <laughs> Historic. Yep. It is. Oh, uh, what was the first concert you went to as a person? I was never a person. Or a human being or an alien no or... <laughs> I said person. That's why I figured that was gender fluid. Uh, that's true. What, what was I the first concert gender. you went to as an asshole? Uh, I'm still in that. Yeah. <laughs> Kansas and Joplin. <laughs> mine, mine was uh, the Grateful Dead and Santana. I was a little kid. I grew up in San Francisco, so you know, hit me shit. But still, there's a certain ones where you get to see where you know kids now are like I'm 38 and people you know I haven't even seen some of those bands because they were done before when it's like okay I can walk and they're no longer a band so. Uh, let's see, we'll figure out one more intelligent question off the list. Uh, I should have reread this list. Uh, what's the one piece of equipment that you've hated loading in over time? Drums. <laughs> God damn it. I hate being a drummer. Don't ever be a drummer. Don't ever do it. So you should be like the Rage Against the Machines drummer who has like the hi-hat, the snare, and there like two cymbals and be like, all right, I load it in. Well, I'm not a hypocrite when it comes to music and actual lifestyle, but yeah. <laughs> cabinets. Hey. Cabinets. No, the cabinets are all broken. My fucking amplifier. <laughs> yeah, thing is Any of these guys. Yeah, yeah. He can't. Him and a friend couldn't even pick it up. Oh. <laughs> Me and my mom. <laughs> That's true, she's hot as fuck. Mom, if you're watching, show me them titties. 
just oh joking. Yeah. And we're gonna get demonetized for this one, but oh well, fuck it. It's no. underground, so who gives a shit? I said titties. <laughs> I was I was saying tits on a video that I did with a. We did a toy reveal of opening toys with one of the with our ten year old. And it was Lilo and Stitch toys, and one of them had the bra on the head with the cape, and I was like, "Ah, tit head!" She's like, "You can't say that. You can say boob head." You're you're ten. That's appropriate for you. I'm 38. I can say tit head. Uh, let's see. We'll go one more, and then we'll call it. Uh, how'd you guys get started in the like music and doing that? Like as a band, or just, or just in general, music or. In general. You just pick up an instrument one day, or yeah. somebody went, can you play guitar, and you said, yeah? I decided I wanted that of sports, <laughs> and I was like, you know, because like, I'm going to age, and I'm not going to be good at basketball or whatever, and so I'm like, yeah, fuck this, I love metal, so I picked up metal. Yeah. So, so, pick up guitar and just right. learn to do it, you know? Yeah. How do they play triplets? <laughs> I used to go to the local skate park, and... Uh, Web City, Missouri, see local shows there all the time back when I was 12 and 13, and I happened to go to a show these guys were fucking playing, <laughs> wearing my fucking Hatchet Man ICP for President t-shirt. And he's up there just at the stage yeah, just doing I, this. And I got pictures of this. We, I thought, we got it on film. I man. thought it was the craziest thing in the fucking world, and honestly, after I seen these guys play, my dad got me my first drum set for Christmas, and I started playing with a local band that thought they were black metal. We played a show with these guys. Adam, with him and his ex, were on the side of the stage looking at me play, trying to get their new drummer to say, hey, play like this, and the rest is history. He basically said, hey, come try out. So. <laughs> well, you were saying that you went to the GOAT. Oh, like uh, you drove down to the Blue Goat yeah, for some of the yeah, shows. Yeah, six hours in high school just to see <laughs> Napalm Death and Devil Driver and came back and went to school the next day. Yeah, I still got my little pass from that one. I got my ticket stuff. <laughs> Signed poster and so. My, you guys, how'd you guys get into it? Just kind of... I was a band geek all through school, trumpet player. So, uh, it was, you know, in the, in the late 90s you had, I was already into punk rock. And then being a trumpet player, I was into ska music, and then yeah. it was kind of just heavier and heavier and heavier until I ended up in a death metal band. <clears throat> My dad had a bass, and he let me have it. I asked if I could have his guitar, and he said, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, I appreciate you guys' time. Thanks for the interview. Thanks, It'll be man. back on the channel and all that fun stuff.